Hey, Kirk Kyunga here from LearningGolf.tv. Continuing on in my free Learning the Setup for Impact Golf Swing Series. Uh, in the previous videos, we've talked about how to set up, how to hold the club, and I uh, had a brief overview of the swing. And here, obviously, it's called Setup for Impact. We've covered the setup. So here, we're going to talk briefly about impact. All of the drills in the member section of my website teach you how to make a great impact. And so it's all based on the idea that most people are totally unaware of where they should be at impact. And basically, uh, you need to understand that to the best of your ability, you need to get the body in a position that allows you to have maximum speed through impact while the club face is square and you hit the ball in the middle of the club face. So impact is is first about getting and learning where you need to be. Most people are so concentrated on hitting the golf ball that they're moving the club with the hands and arms and the body really is doing little, if anything. From the members who send in videos to me on my website for analysis, uh, the most common mistakes I see are the club releasing early and through impact, the hips are square to the target line. The problem with that is there's never been a great player who had the hips square. They all have the hips open. The reason for that is we need the body leading and driving the arms and club through impact so that it's stable and not in rotation through impact. There's a slight amount of rotation because of the body turn and the arc of the club is swung on, but it's not the rotation like this with the hands. So what you can do is when you get set up, as I detailed in the last video, all I want you to do is when you're set up is try to straighten the leg and have the leading hip turn in behind you, something like that. And just see, you may, when you do this, only be able to do that a small amount. Some of you may be more flexible, but I would keep your leading hand on the club when you do this and simply turn like that. And what you'll notice when you do that is the handle of the club, the grip, ends up ahead of the ball. And this is very good. This is what we need to hit great golf shots and to make a divot after the ball is to get to that impact position. You also should notice the head should be staying in position and you'd also notice the upper torso is also rotating this way. Some of you uh, may uh, end up with very little rotation and that's also okay. We just need to find the position. So if you're a person who's less flexible, uh, you would see that when you're getting set up, you would see that you do this, you're only able to turn very little. And so uh, then in the swing, what we would do is simply not start as far with the club back because there's not so much turn and I would also advise you that you must have a neutral grip because you're not going to be able with a stronger grip you're not going to be able to keep the club face square uh, without serious compensation uh, which will put a lot of stress on your body and I really just don't think it's possible if you can't turn you cannot use the customization in the grip which is stronger with a stronger grip so finding impact, something like this. Then we start the swing from here. All of the drills take you through getting back to impact with your body before the club comes through and they teach you proper lag and how to develop a complete, consistent golf swing. So there is a free email series also available on learninggolf.tv. There's a link below this video and the membership has a 14 day free trial, which allows you also to send in videos for my review and to ask unlimited questions by email. Please subscribe here on YouTube. There'll be more videos on the Setup for Impact Golf Swing. And please like this video. Thank you very much and have a great day.